Welcome to the channel. In this short video, I'll be going over this fully physics-based top-down movement script I've made for many of my projects, and the best part is, it's free to download and use the script. The link to the GitHub page is in the description. So for the first part of this video, I'll be briefly going over the setup since it takes little to no time, and then if you want to learn about the magic that happens, I'll be explaining the script in greater detail. So let's get started. Firstly, since this is a top-down game, you're going to want to go to your project settings, and under the physics 2D tab, you're going to want to set your gravity to zero so the player doesn't actually start falling. Now we can actually get started on the player itself. So I'm going to create a circle for my player called the game object player. And then there's going to be a few components we're going to need. We're going to need a circle collider 2D. We're going to need a rigid body 2D. And on the rigid body, we're going to set angular drag to zero, gravity scale to zero. And then we're going to set the collision mode to continuous. So if the player's moving super fast, they won't fly through any walls or any other colliders. And then we're also going to freeze the rotation. And then we'll be able to drag the player controller script onto the player. Assign the rigid body 2D to the RB variable. And then we can enter play mode and play around with the movement values until we get an uh, effect that we like. Which these default values I have in there for 35 move speed and 13 counter movement, I already like. And just like that, the setup is done. Now, if you're interested in knowing how the script itself works, this is the segment of the video you'll be interested in. So inside of the script, we have a variable to store our rigid body. And then we have two variables to store how much we want to move and the counter movement strength. And then we also have a private variable here, which we just store the player input. All this awake function does is if we had not set up the rigid body inside of the inspector, it's just going to grab the rigid body on the uh, game object that this script is on. So the update function, we're getting the player input and storing it inside of the vector2 input variable that we created. So inside of the fixed update, this is where the, all the calculation stuff actually happens and all the uh, forces being actually applied to the player. So we have a temporary vel for velocity, which we'll be using towards the end of the script. And I like to set my max speed equal to our move speed plus basically one half of whatever move speed is. If you want to, you could create this as its own variable up top, but I just prefer to do it this way. So this first, set, first section will cancel out our player input if we're trying to move faster than we're already moving. For example, if our x input is greater than zero, meaning we're trying to move to the right, and our current velocity is greater than our max speed, meaning we're already going over our max speed to the right, we're just going to completely cancel out our input so we don't add force in that direction and the player could actually slow down due to the counter movement. And then the same thing happens here, except it's to the left, and then these two here are for the y-axis. For this section here, this is some extra force in case we're moving one direction, but we're wanting to move to the other direction. For example, if we're already moving to the left and we want to start moving to the right, this extra force will be applied to help us have that smooth and easy uh, change in direction that we're moving. So we create two temporary variables, X bonus and Y bonus, we're going to set them equal to one by default. And then just like our canceling out input, um, inside of here, we're going to check to see if we're trying to move to the left, and we're already moving to the right, then we're going to set our X bonus to two. And it's the same thing here, but backwards. If we're trying to move to the right, we're already moving to the left, then we're going to set X bonus to two. And it's the same concept for the Y axis. Right here is just slightly extra more force. It just has a better feeling based on my testing. So we're going to set extra force equal to whatever our max speed is minus our current velocity. Here's where the movement's actually being applied. So we actually take our input, multiply that by our movement speed, by this little bit of extra force that we have, by our x and y bonus, it'll either be one or two. I like to do times two just by my testing. I don't have to have huge numbers for movement speed. And I just do times dot, uh, time dot fixed delta time. And then immediately after our movement's being applied, we actually go to do our counter movement. So we're going to add force by our counter movement variable times our negative velocity, the opposite direction that we are currently going, times our movement speed. So it scales with how fast you're actually going. And then I do times time that fixed delta time. And just like that, very simple and smooth physics based movement script is easy to set up and read. If you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials, comment them down below. Also, join in my Discord. I want to grow this as a community for game developers, primarily Unity, but others are welcome as well. Thanks for watching and keep developing.